Um, so my name is Trish Berto. I'm a research associate professor here at Boston College in the biology department. My focus is to look at monocytes and macrophages, which are immune cells, and how they're involved in HIV infection. I grew up in Massachusetts. We were a very athletic family, so we would always go out hiking and sports and all that stuff. So we kind of got into science and did the science fairs and I was always interested in those kind of those kind of things because with the research you can you have a problem you can you think about the problem you hypothesize what you you think's happening and then you can test it and you can figure out different things and I knew I was smart enough to go to do something after I, a college so I went to Penn State College of Medicine and I got my PhD in cell and molecular biology and then I ended up back in Boston here at Boston College. So HIV, a lot of people think nowadays that it's very controlled. So you can take drugs and then you're all set basically. But nowadays they have peripheral neuropathies which affects the hands and feet, numbness and tingling. Even though they're pretty healthy otherwise, HIV people have a lot of cardiac disease. So that's what we study is monocytes, macrophages, and these HIV related diseases. All these people are living longer since they're on therapy. Now the HIV population is more aged, so they're getting other diseases that normally affect your aging. So we've been doing clinical trials. We get human specimens, so blood, and then we measure all these different cytokines or immune markers in there. So I think that's really exciting. There's a whole literature that these drugs, they're used in the common population, but they might be a little different in the HIV population. So we're trying to look at mechanisms of the disease. We've discovered that this molecule, soluble CD163, can be a potential biomarker for HIV cardiac disease and for HIV neurologic disease. If this molecule is really elevated in one person, then you know that they're potentially getting more sick. I think that's always a goal in basic research is you kind of want your research to then be applicable to, you know, the patients or human disease or something that will help mankind. We're not the kind of lab that is looking for a cure, but we're looking for this is the mechanism of how these cells work or how this stuff happens. And then next, like, how do we stop that? It's all about collaboration as well. So we work with a group at MGH who does the clinical trials and we do kind of the basic research and we look at monocytes and macrophages. And then there's another group that does brain imaging or cardiac imaging and kind of all these pieces come together. <laughs> and a lot of the basic findings that we have found in our lab and, and in others, you know, then they take those and, and use them as the basis for certain clinical trials. So they're saying, all right, well, we want to find a mechanism or find some drug that can then decrease this monocyte activation. How do you balance being a mother and being a wife and, and being a scientist and, you know, being, you know, a, um, you know, I'm responsible for people's graduate degrees and anyone can do any of those things if you kind of set your heart to it and are really focused and, you know, you really enjoy what you do. And I, I would say that I, I definitely love what I do.